Hi Pisces, Latron here with Power Life Hypnosis. This is your December 2019 love and romance reading. As always, thank you to those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to those who comment and share. And thank you to my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. To book a private reading with me, visit my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also book a private reading with me through the description box below. Also in the description box, make sure to grab your free three tips cheat sheet to attract true love. The link for that cheat sheet is at the very top of the description box. So my lovely Pisces friends, let's go ahead and get started on your reading now. All right, so... It looks like many of you have had some kind of important conversation that likely took place in person or over the phone, but this is a general reading, so that conversation could have also taken place through text, through app, through some kind of electronic means as well. But again, for most of you, it looks like this conversation did take place in person or over the phone. And this may have led to some kind of transition within your love life, some kind of change within your love life. Now, it looks like either there have been some troubles in communication or something has kept you in this connection and then you move forward. So I'm feeling as though many of you are not in this connection anymore. Again, you may have moved forward from this person, from this relationship, from this situation here. You may have had to exercise strength to move through this situation, but it's like as soon as you knew that it was time, you knew it was time. As soon as you knew that you had to move forward, you knew that you had to move forward and you took action. Even if you had been staying in this situation for a long time. And it looks like this transition and this connection, this moving forward has brought you some kind of relief it has brought better circumstances moving forward even if you had to exercise great strength and like i'm feeling like some of you had to muster up all the strength that you can gather in order to make the right decision in order to move forward from this situation because perhaps many of you had a strong connection with this person or this may have been like a lover and a friend i'm even hearing um whatever the circumstance is for many of you it may have been difficult to move forward difficult to have this conversation you know, it's like something was stopping you. Something was blocking you from either having this conversation or from moving forward here. But you exercise great strength once again. And you had this conversation or you did what you had to do. Whatever you felt was best for you to do. Whatever you intuitively, you were Pisces. So you have that intuition that us water signs do. So whatever your intuition was guiding you towards, because I do feel as though your intuition has been very strong within this situation. So some of you may have had to speak your truth. Many of you had to trust your instincts. Or many of you had to hear someone else speak their truth or maybe what has not been their truth. Maybe there were words but that did not come easily and quickly. So it looks like you are receiving 
a cure to this situation, a fix to this situation. If you've had challenges, if you've had stagnancy, if you've had difficulties in this situation, you are experiencing relief and better times ahead moving forward. So it looks like you are putting yourself in a position to experience more happiness, more joy, more love, more romance, more passion. Because many of you are separating yourself from this person. We have the tower card here. So many of you are separating yourself or isolating yourself from this person. And I'm hearing that some of you are making yourselves inaccessible. Is that a word? Inaccessible to this person. You're, you, you're not giving this person access to you. You're not accessible to this person. So this conversation, in this conversation, or as a result of this conversation, it looks like in the month of December, something that has been kept hidden, something that has been kept secret, could be coming to the light. Can be made known. We have here the snake and the lock as a clarifier. So the snake card signifies a betrayal, lies, deception, difficulties. But the great thing about the snake is you can always pick up the snake and throw them out of the way. You can always get rid of that person, that energy, whatever it is, that is not serving you or that you don't need or don't want anymore. So this conversation may reveal Again, some things that have been hidden, which may have to do with someone being promiscuous, someone not wanting to commit, someone wanting to have their cake and eat it too, someone who wants to play the field. And Many of you could be feeling tied down or stuck in this situation. Many of you could be feeling tied down and stuck, tied down or stuck in this situation with the anchor card. And we actually have the anchor here twice. And this anchor is in the reverse position. So again, it's like you could have been staying. Or there could have been a delay regarding moving forward. But it looks like staying in this situation is not really serving you. Or not really bringing you and giving you the love, the affection, the joy that you need. There may be a lack of harmony and getting along between you and this person, between you and the snake. So again, you may be learning something or something may be revealed that was previously kept hidden. And because this is a general reading, you could have been keeping something hidden. The other person could have been keeping something hidden. Just take this however it resonates. But there have been some things that have gone unsaid in this connection however during the month of december they will be put out in the open it's like the dirty laundry will be aired out 
and not enough Ajax can clean that dirty laundry. So it does look like someone will be revealing or you may learn that someone has been deceptive or someone has been manipulative. This may also be a learning lesson to you as well. This conversation, this communication, or if you don't have a significant communication or conversation taking place or that's taking place, just whatever the events are in this connection, which I do feel will come from some kind of communication, but this is a general reading, so it could be in different ways for you all. But this will be once again revealing the true nature of this person, what this person has been doing, how this person has been for many trying to be with other people or take on multiple partners or doesn't want to commit and maybe they were manipulating the situation to their benefit with their words and what they were saying. There's something about someone's words here. Someone may be good with their words. Someone may be a sweet talker. There may be someone who's not to be trusted. So there looks like there's a person who could be very good with their words, but is not to be trusted. Is very good with their words, but is also manipulative. Is very good with their words, but is also two-faced. Is good with their words, but does not have good intentions. So they may tell you one thing because it's serving them. They may tell you one thing because it allows them to get the outcome that they are seeking. But they're really just words. You know, this is like the type of person who can who can sell ski uh, sell snow to a ski slope. This person can sell minutes to metro. That's the type of person that this is. This person may be someone who's a backstabber because again, this person seems to only do what is best for them. So that could have caused you to feel stuck or tied down in this situation. But it looks like this is leading you to set boundaries. You're setting boundaries here. This could even be someone who's a friend, a friend and a lover. Someone who you felt a sense of loyalty to or you thought that you can depend on. But you're realizing that this person may be very stubborn or stuck in their ways. Or you may be feeling once again very stuck in this situation. Or this person may be bringing you down, holding you back. There appears to be a lack of romance, a lack of love, a lack of passion here. And that could be leading you to separate from this person and go in a new direction. Or keep yourself away from this person. You could be raising your standards. Raising your expectations in relationships. Again, setting those boundaries. You may be wanting to do what is necessary to move your relationship, or not your relationship, but move your love life forward towards something more reliable, to something that's better than what you've had before.
So the person that you could be involved with, and keep in mind, this is a general reading here, so not all of these details will resonate with you. I just saw 1444 on the clock. So there is going to be a new beginning after some angelic healing. So just look forward to that. There will be some angelic healing to this situation, which is going to bring you a beautiful new beginning, which is kind of what we've been talking about as well on the other side of this situation, on the other side of this snake here. But again, we're going to go into the details of this person now. Some of these details may resonate, some may not. Some may describe yourself, some may describe the other person. Even if none of these details resonate, that does not mean that this reading is not for you. Um, this just means that you are dealing with someone or you are involved with someone who looks unique to this description. So this appears to be somebody who, one, is very attractive. This may be someone who's well put together. This is someone who... It's kind of sexy in a way. Even if they have more of a bohemian style, this person still appears to be sexy. Uh, for many of you, this may be somebody sleek and slick in their appearance. I'm seeing someone who is more so on the slender side, but can have some curves. Someone who's on the tall side, this may be a male who's more on the tall side, or even if this is a female, because this is a general reading, this person is tall for those males. This could be somebody six feet and above. Someone with a sturdy build, but it's interesting because they have a sturdy build, but then they also have fine bones, maybe a soft appearance. This person has either sharp or small eyes that can be colored eyes, blue, green in particular, a hazel as well, some kind of colored eyes. Again, those fine bones. Now, this person may also have a distinct nose as well because we do have here the birds. So if you can imagine the beak of a bird. And in some cases, this person also has a heart-shaped face. Not necessarily, though. Not necessarily. I'm going to go more so with that tall kind of uh, person or that tall description. The skin tone can be tan to dark skin. Tan to dark. I do see curves on this person. Again, it's like they're slim, but there's curves. So this person can even have like a slim thick going on, but there's this person slim, but with some curves. In some cases, the curves can be muscles. In some cases, the curves can just be curves on this person's body. You will know more so how this resonates than I will. Okay, so let's see what other messages that we have here. So you are bringing greater stability to your love life. I'm looking at the numbers now and we have the heart here and then I noticed we also have the dog and in this deck this is number 40 so there is stability coming to your love life that's the ultimate outcome here is stability coming into your love life I can see a lot of that coming here this may come after an ending bringing you empowerment Many of you may have to go within to look inside of yourself in order to make these changes, in order to make important changes. And in order to bring about a new cycle in your love life. And again, this is bringing empowerment to you, making these changes, going within, learning about yourself. You're able to move forward into a new phase in your love life that's going to bring that stability. Many of you may be learning lessons here. You're learning lessons and you're doing this regarding moving forward. And again, I see a lot of empowerment coming to you. A lot of empowerment coming to you at this time during the month of December through these changes. A lot of changes bringing empowerment, bringing stability. So that's all very positive. That's all very positive. Okay, so let's see what your guidance is. Now, Pisces, 
again we have this card number four speaking of that stability you may also have some angelic healing coming to your love life as well because we just have so many fours here so we do have this card of higher power And this card did come up in the reverse and it's saying that Pisces, some of you may not be manifesting or co-creating your reality in conjunction with your higher power. You may be trying to go at this alone. But don't forget that your higher power is essential to this situation it's like all things happen through god right god universe spirit your higher power so co-create your best love life your best situation your best circumstances with your higher power you don't have to go at this alone and the interesting thing is if you are deciding to go at this alone without connection with your higher power it's possible to recreate situations from the past because instead of co-creating with your higher power you're co-creating from your own reserves from your own knowledge from your own perception which is based on your past and if you've had challenging relationships in the past then you are going to be recreating these circumstances, recreating these situations, recreating these issues moving forward because that's where you are creating from. It's like the best prediction or the best predictor of the future is based on the past. Yes, people can change, of course, but there needs to be some kind of intervention to allow people to change moving forward, intervention from your higher power to allow people to move forward. Without that intervention, we create the same circumstances over and over again. And we may be seeing the past or seeing our challenges as our higher power when it comes to love and romance, as opposed to connecting with that higher vibrational energy of our true higher powers. So make sure to reconnect with your higher power as that is where the solution lies. And many of you already know this. You already know this. So go within and reflect. You already have the knowledge. You already have the greater perception. You already have the awareness. And it's deep within you. So access that. Some of you may not really be connecting with what your gut knows or what your or with what your intuition knows or what your higher thinking knows to be true. And you once again may be allowing your past or your fears or your old ways of doing things the same cycle over and over again to dictate the way you see the situation on the surface. So now is a good time to go within, access that deeper awareness, that deeper knowledge, that deeper learning, that deeper knowing, and utilize that moving forward. Whatever it is that that is speaking about, whatever it is that you have to do, whatever it is that you have to change, whatever it is that you need to bring more of into your life, whatever it is that you need to rid from your life, whatever that is, whatever that is, it's going to be different for all of you. So whatever that is. Access that part of yourself and trust yourself. Trust yourself. Allow the dark to come to the light. You may be hiding things from yourself or you may be hiding things from your higher awareness or attempting to hide something like not acknowledging something or not really seeing something for what it is, whether that be a pattern for some of you. I'm feeling like for some of you, it's a pattern in relationships or just a deeper knowing about relationships or even the people that you choose, whatever that is, you know what needs to come to the surface. You know what needs to be looked at. You know what needs to be made peace with 
so you can turn this thing around. And by doing that, that's going to bring you the luck you desire. That's going to bring you the blessings that you desire in love and relationships and romance. That's going to bring you the positive outcome that you seek. That's going to bring you the opportunities in love and romance that you are seeking. That's going to bring you the fun. That's going to bring you the positive surprises. Again, the luck, the opportunities, the love, the feeling of life, the feeling of excitement, enchantment, the blessings. Once you do this, once you connect to that higher power, that higher vibrational energy and connect with and follow through on what you know, you will experience the rain, the, the pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow. You'll reach the pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow. And you will be able to attain and receive all the blessings and positive energy and outcomes that you are seeking, that you have been wishing for, that you have been dreaming for. There's a lot of opportunities that are coming up for you. There's a lot of opportunities that are coming up for you, Pisces. So that's what needs to be done in order to reap those rewards, in order to manifest those opportunities. So Pisces, these are the messages that I have for you for your love life for the month of December. Thumbs up and like this reading if the messages resonate with you. Uh, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And again, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can book a reading with me at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also book a reading with me right now through the description box below. And if you would like to know who your future partner is, when you meet your partner, where will your partner look like, your partner's sign, your partner's traits, as well as how to align with your partner, you can book a future partner reading with me. You can also check out the new future partner reading cards, which we have been using in this reading. Also, I'm running a special on Instant Go for the months of November and December. So make sure to go ahead and check those out. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can send me a text with your question and I will respond within 24 hours with your answer. So I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light. Check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos as well. Again, thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you all here again soon, Pisces. Bye for now.